Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. Today's video is part two of my Makeup 101 for Mature Beginners series. This video is on what to purchase for your beginner makeup kit. So the idea for this video and this series came from you guys. Basically, there's a lot of people who are more mature who never used makeup before. And then at one point in your life, you notice that maybe your skin isn't what it used to be. Now you feel like you just need a little bit of help from makeup. And so you come to YouTube looking for tutorials, looking for answers. And what you find out here, the vast majority is <laughs> videos for people who are much, much younger than us, and it can be disheartening because they're using a ton of makeup and it just is not what you're looking for because being a beginner, you don't want to do a full face of makeup. You just want something to improve you to the point that you look more like the you you used to see in the mirror. You know, I get it. I get where you're coming from because I was you. I had never worn makeup my entire life, and then one day my skin started to look different. I now have enlarged pores, I have age spots, I have wrinkles, I have, you know, a little bit of sagging skin. And so I find that makeup really does help me to look a lot better, to project the me to the world that I want the world to see. But I also remember that when I started looking at makeup, it was overwhelming. You know, you would go to the department stores and the department store ladies would try to steer you to their brand to spend like $500 on, you know, an entire line of makeup or you'd go to the drugstore and just be overwhelmed by what was out there and it just seems like too much. So people have all different levels of disposable income for makeup. So I'm going to include drugstore and higher end products. So everything that I'm going to show you has been tested on actual mature skin and works for me. Of course, everything that works for me is not necessarily going to work for you because everyone's skin is different. I have combination skin. I know most people who are more mature tend to have a little bit drier skin. So, all right, let's get started looking at the things that I would recommend for a makeup kit. I think that if you have never worn makeup before that you're generally not going to kind of dip your toe in the water by going with a full face of foundation. You know, you're going to be worried about looking cakey and looking mask-like and looking dry and having it accentuate your wrinkles. And yes, I 100% get that. So I think that one of the easiest things that you can get is like a BB cream or a CC cream because you can put it on with your fingers and it's going to be kind of sheer, but it's going to be a few products in one. They generally will be blurring or smoothing. They generally will color correct. So if you have like a lot of redness around the center of your face, which a lot of us do or a lot of discolorations under your eyes you can even use it as your under eye concealer so one of the ones that I like best that is pretty foolproof is the L'Oreal Magic Skin Beautifier BB Cream. It comes out of the tube white and then it changes color to adjust to your skin tone so that's what it looks like when you first pump it out and then as you rub it in you'll see that it's just going to change color to kind of match my skin tone and I find that when you know, you first try to buy a foundation, one of the hardest things to do is to figure out how to get a color match. It is also blurring, so it helps with your wrinkles, it helps with your pores, it helps with your ripply skin. So that is a big favorite of mine, and I show this in a lot of my, like, no makeup makeup tutorials. So if you want to see how to use this, I can link a couple of tutorials. I'll probably link um, the tutorial that was the first video in this series right up here to start, and then Next, I'll also link a tutorial where I use this guy to show you how to use this. All right, then another CC cream that I really love is the It Cosmetics CC cream. And this one is great because it has an SPF 50 in it, but this one is a lot more pigmented and a lot more makeup-like. So only get this if you think you're gonna wanna use something that's you know pretty makeup-y. You know, if you're gonna get this, I would definitely pick up a makeup sponge. Um, this is the Beauty Blender. And a drugstore version of that would be the Morphe one. You dampen it and squeeze all the water out. And then you just can apply like a nice lightweight coat of this. And then the other foundation that I would recommend, which is also a really good starter foundation, is a powder foundation. Sometimes powders are just easier to use. This is from the drugstore. It's the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Powder. And then this one is the Bare Minerals. I wear the matte, but you can get the other one. It's a little more luminous. Um, this has a bigger shade range than this guy, but they're very easy to apply and you can use it both as your concealer and as your kind of foundation. You can put on a very light coating. For this, I like to apply it with a brush, so you would have to invest in a brush to, to use these guys. Of course, they have a brush that you can buy. I like this It Cosmetics dual-ended brush because I can use the bigger end to do 
more of my face and then I can use the little end to just do like my concealer and like around my nose where usually we're a little bit red around there. So that is a great brush to get to go with that. Um, but the CoverGirl one, it comes with like a little spongy guy underneath and you can use this just like your standard powder compact. You don't have to do your entire face with a big coating of powder, but you can just kind of color correct and even out your skin tone. The finish on these isn't going to be really, really powdery. It's actually going to be more of a powder to almost a cream kind of look, especially the Bare Minerals I find really has a beautiful finish that you would never even know that it was a powder makeup. Then if you have serious under eye darkness or serious under eye bags, you might want to invest in a concealer. From the drugstore, my favorite is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. This guy comes in a few different colors and it also comes in a brightening one. And the way you want to pick a concealer is you want to pick it about a half shade lighter than your skin tone because you want to brighten the under eye area, but you don't want it to be like a wash of white or pearlescent color. Then the other concealer from more high end that I love is the Lancome Maki Complet. This is their hydrating concealer. So again, with the drier skin, this one is really nice and moisturizing so it doesn't make your eye, your under eye area look drier. And this one has a nice little doe foot applicator. My general thing with under eye concealer is when you get older in order to keep it from settling in your wrinkles is to use the tiniest amount that you can get away with. I do have a video on how to apply your under eye concealer so it doesn't crease and I'll link that video right up here because that can be really really helpful because I think you know sometimes people start using makeup for the first time and then it makes their wrinkles look worse because they're kind of doing it like a younger youtuber where they're putting on just this ton of under eye concealer and really our older skin just cannot have that much concealer and look good. You really need to use the bare minimum and I have a few other tips and tricks in that video that are really super helpful so take a look at that one if you want but those are the concealers that I would recommend for like a starter makeup kit and then if you are going to use concealer I really recommend getting a setting powder for it and you know you can use your Bare Minerals powder or your CoverGirl powder as a setting powder for it and if you watch that video you'll see what a difference it makes and it will help your concealer to last longer. The ones that I really recommend are this one from IT Cosmetics. It's the Bye Bye Pores HD powder. This is my holy grail. This one is the bomb. This is also great for like disguising in large pores so I'll just put a little bit on the fronts of my cheeks or here where I have a little bit more textured skin so that is an awesome product. From the drugstore, I like this Revlon Candid powder. This one is really nice, kind of gives my it a run for its money. I just discovered it a couple weeks ago and I really, really love it. So this one comes in two shades. It comes in the translucent, which is kind of a pinkish whitish, and then it comes in more of a peachy color. And then of course you can use the concealers to disguise any age spots you may have. I think it's better to go lighter with your overall face product, like your BB cream or your powder foundation, and just add a little bit of concealer. So that's how I would color correct your face. Then you're going to want to add a little bit of color back in. So you're going to need a little bit of blush, right? So um, one of my favorite blushes is from Flower Beauty. It is their blush balm and this one is in pinched and it's a uh, liquid. And I know a lot of you have probably heard that older people should not use powder blush. I don't agree with that. I don't actually agree with any rules for us. <laughs> I don't think there should be any. So when you're working with powder, you want to stick with other powders. When you're working with liquids, sometimes it can be easier to work with other liquids or creams. So that they blend better together. I really like this liquid blush because it's so beautiful and easy to use, but I would use this only if you're getting like a BB cream or a CC cream. I'm not sure something like this would go well over a powder. And then for a powder blush from the drugstore, I love these Milani flower blushes. They are so beautiful. And then I also love these Buxom Wanderlust blushes. So the Buxom blush is in Mykonos, the Milani blush is in Coral Cove, and these are both beautiful blushes a little goes a long way so you only need a tiny bit of them but they're gorgeous and the thing with powder blushes is that people think that you're gonna look powdery and you're gonna look dry again makeup has changed a lot since back in the day and they really don't look powdery or dry when you apply them. So those two are matte. Um, one shimmery blush that I do like, if you like kind of a highlighter look, is the NARS Orgasm blush. And I have it here in a, like a double set with the Laguna bronzer. This is like a little travel kit. But this is a pretty blush because it's like basically 
a peach blush, but it has a little kind of overlay of almost like a goldish subtle shimmer. So that one can be great if you don't want to buy a separate highlighter. You just get a blush with a little bit of shimmer in it and that can just make your cheeks like kind of pop a little bit. All right, so I'm not going to talk about highlighters and bronzers in this one. I think those are probably for the next video, which is going to be a little bit more advanced. All right, so let's move on to the eyes. I think bringing back color into the eyes is really important as we get older. I think that's what kind of makes us look a little bit washed out as we get older. So eyeliner is really important. It doesn't have to be super black. You don't have to do you know, the big raccoon ring around your entire eye, but you can just do a little strategic eyelining. So the eyeliners that I like best from the high end are the Marc Jacobs highliners. These are great. And I really like to tight line. You know, I don't know if that's too advanced of a technique for super beginners, but I actually find that it can be easier than trying to draw a line at the top of your lashes where it really makes a difference what that line looks like and sometimes it's hard to get it right so when you're tight lining you just put the eyeliner beneath your lashes and you kind of run it along that little wet line in there and it's so much easier to do and this is one that I love for that because it doesn't transfer to your lower water line and then the other one that I like for that is the physician's formula eyeliners this is one that I always recommend that comes in a set of three of three different colors but I think they might be discontinuing these so I don't want to talk these up too much in case you can't get them I think you can still get them on Amazon though and then the other eyeliners that I really like as well are the flower beauty vinyl eyes liners. This one is in brown. This one is really pretty. Another favorite from Sephora is the Sephora contour liners. These are 12 hour wear waterproof. So you can get a black in this. You can get a gray in that. You can get matte colors. You can get shimmer colors. This one's called Lavender Fields. It's one of my favorites. It's a really pretty like soft metallic soft lavender and it looks great in your lower water line. All right so I wasn't sure about eyeshadow for this one. I feel like if you're a real super beginner you're really not going to do eyeshadow shadow but you might want to so I'm gonna recommend a couple of eyeshadows so I think the basic easiest thing that you can do is really for like a special occasion just put on a creamy eyeshadow pencil in like a subtle shimmery color and just keep it right on the lid so for those there are so many great ones but from the drugstore I'm gonna recommend this one it is the NYX jumbo eye pencil and then from the higher end this one is the Lancome ombre hypnos stilo I mean everybody makes these Bobbi Brown makes one one, Laura Mercier makes one. I can link a few down below, but these are just the prettiest colors. So this guy over here is the NYX one in yogurt. Then in the center is the Laura Mercier one in rose gold. And then over here, this is the Lancome one in platine. And they're just so beautiful. And just doing a simple shimmer on your eyelid for a special occasion can be so pretty with just some eyeliner and mascara. It'll really just brighten up your face and make you look like a million bucks. But what do you do for every day? So for every day, I really would recommend just a very simple matte eyeshadow palette. So the first one I would recommend is this Physician Formula Quad. This one is in Canyon Classics and it just has four of the most basic colors in it that are matte. They're not too dark. They're really pretty on the eye and it's a really great quad. And then Smashbox has these little three color um, palettes and this is part of their photo edit eyeshadow trio in nudie pick and these actually are curated for your skin tone so there's a fair there's a light there's a medium and there's a dark one so depending on your skin tone you just pick the right one for you so basically if you wanted to do a really simple two color eyeshadow look you would just do the lightest color kind of on your movable lid and then you would take the medium color and you would put it up in your crease and then you'd be done. Now the question is what would you do that with? These don't come with brushes. This comes with this little thing which I don't really recommend you using but you know if you don't want to buy a brush you definitely can. If you're looking for a really good starter brush set the one I recommend is this BH Cosmetics brush set. This has 12 brushes in it so it has eight eyeshadow brushes and for face brushes. So, you know, if you are going to like makeup and then move on up into more complicated things, you're going to need things like this. And you would just use like these two to start to do a simple two color eyeshadow look, but then you would have all these for when you're ready to graduate up to a more complicated eyeshadow look where you're going to follow along on YouTube and you're going to make some really beautiful eye makeup happen. If you are going to use eyeshadow, get an eyeshadow primer, an eyelid primer, because this will really help your eyeshadow to stay in place, to not crease, to not fade throughout the day, and it will help your eyelids to look a lot better. You know, if you have crepey skin up there, these will help to smooth it out a little bit. So my two faves of those, the CoverGirl Lid Lockup is my favorite drugstore one. This has a nice 
doe foot applicator. And the other one is the Fenty Amplify eyelid primer and this one is a little bit more of a pink you just you know put a little swatch on each eyelid and then you are ready to go so the last couple of things are mascara and lippy uh, my two favorite mascaras the one from the drugstore is the l'oreal unlimited mascara and from the higher end is the estee lauder sumptuous knockout these are great everyday mascaras i think if you're brand new to makeup you don't want like a false lash look you don't want to look like overdone so these just give you like a really nice everyday lash they make them look separate and silky they're not clumpy and you won't come back to look at yourself in the mirror later in the day and find little black specks all over your face that's the most important thing about these is they don't dribble they don't flake they don't clump so I love both of those they don't come off until you take them off and then the last thing that I think you're gonna need is like a lipstick or a lip gloss my favorite lip glosses are the buxom full-on lip creams I just love them but I love like a minty like lip plumper and they come in great colors. My two favorite like nude colors are Hot Toddy and Dolly. So those are great shades and they're really glossy. They're a little sticky though. So if you don't like a sticky lip gloss or a minty like tingly lip gloss, then you won't like those. In that case, I would recommend these kind of hybrid gloss slash liquid lipstick kind of things. A couple of my favorites, like the one from the drugstore is the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit. That's a really nice one that comes in great colors. And I also love these Bobbi Brown Crushed Liquid Lipsticks because they're not super opaque. So you can put it on almost like a lip gloss and it really gives you that nice lip glossy feel these are so comfortable to wear they never dry out your lips and they come in such beautiful colors this is like the more nude color the one that i'm wearing today is this guy here called juicy date all right so that's everything i hope i didn't overwhelm you i tried to keep it to just the basics and then i'll do another one like expanding to the next step anyway i hope you found the video helpful and informative if you did go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you so much for your time i always appreciate your watching so have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Take care everybody. Bye-bye.